I learned how to manipulate stone by engraving or sandblasting, anything anybody ever wanted on a stone. My name is Steve Pauly. I am a multimedia artist and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I went to school for painting, but at the same time I started carving tombstones. Switched gears and started concentrating more on stonework. I work on granite in my studio. I make engravings with a diamond tip pencil or a, a Dremel tool. After years of doing that, I stumbled upon a process that I've been developing for a long time. I get my inspiration from all. After making so many of the tombstones, what I realized what we would show on the memorial is a name and a date, and that's it. I started looking at graffiti. I like the anonymous bathroom graffiti. It could have been anybody writing that at any moment of time. I, th I think those reflect human beings and, and um, their personalities more than anything else. We're gonna try to get this area. To pick the medium, I made most of the stones before I started doing this. Now, when I've made so many stones in my studio that I have literally hundreds to pick from. And I can make compositions just by juxtaposing one to the next. About two minutes. Okay. I've got the fourth bath here, which I'll do an initial rinse, and then we'll take it upstairs and put it in the shower and hose that down for a while, that's where. Yeah, we're, I think this is gonna be okay, I don't know. We'll it looks like the emulsion got scratched or something. It went through a lot. <laughs> I'm happy to get this, really. It's this. And it, so the, the whole shape is anamorphic, but also the image on here is anamorphic. Recently, since I've developed this photographic process, I'm using anamorphic perspective, which is a perspective that's stretched out. So the, the image itself is scratched, distorted onto the stone. And then in the dark room, I'll rake light across that. And what happens is, the light picks up the scratches and projects them forward as a shadow onto the adjacent wall, or onto, ideally, onto photographic paper. And it corrects the distortion of the anamorphic perspective. Since it's elongated and compact at the same time, the shadow is three-dimensional and almost like a hologram. And I'm able to control the depth of field of that shadow. So parts of the image are in focus and parts of the image are out of focus or a little blurry. The stone is making art. With each print, I try to improve. <laughs>